Well, hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide, and I am here to do an unpacking video on a couple of titles from one of the more interesting record labels that I know of, Run Out Groove Records. Now, every month they put up three titles that have either never been on vinyl or haven't been on vinyl for many years, sometimes decades. And then listeners get to go to runoutgroovevinyl.com and pick the title that they want to see pressed. Uh, by Run Out Groove Records. Now, at the end of the month, they tally up the votes, they find out what title people want to see pressed, and then they press it. So it's really interesting, go to runoutgroovevinyl.com. You can vote right now for what their next title is. These titles are actually voted on by the listeners. So these are two titles that I'm going to share today. Um, they're two titles you may not have heard of before, but let me tell you, they're really worth picking up because these artists are quite remarkable, and these titles specifically are ones that I would recommend. So let's start first with Josh, R Josh Rouse. Josh Rouse, I'm having a hard time saying that. Uh, he's a singer-songwriter out of the Midwest of the United States. Uh, and uh, again, he's not terribly well known, but he is a fantastic, very gripping, very emotional artist. Uh, the music is very stripped down, uh, guitars and a, you know, acoustic guitars and a few other sparse instruments here and there. And the, the, the songs are really haunting, very beguiling, uh, very beautiful songs indeed. And uh, this album, Dressed Up Like Nebraska, is perhaps uh, one of his creative peaks. Uh, and it was pressed on Run Out Groove Vinyl. So uh, let's open her up here. Now, one thing I like about Run Out Groove Records, their covers are just beautifully uh, printed, uh, very high quality materials. Look at the spines, just gorgeous, just striking. Those are really nice when they're on the shelves. And the records themselves, of course, they uh, put equal, if not more, care into them. Uh, the records are of 180 gram uh, quality vinyl, uh, and they sound beautiful. They're mastered really, really well. And uh, pretty much, it, Run Out Groove is one of those record labels to where when they put something out, I absolutely uh, rely on it. Just the name Run Out Groove uh, Records uh, is enough for me. Kind of like a Blue Note or a Daptone or, you know, a Writing Easy Records. You know when they put their name on it, it's good stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to play it for you here because obviously I don't own the music and YouTube and all those artist rights stuff will uh, get up on me. But needless to say, this is a beautiful title. I would highly recommend checking it out. And let's check out the gatefold while we're here. Oh, well, there's Mr. Rouse. And let's see, information on each of the songs, imagery. Now, I didn't have the original CD, but I'm assuming that a lot of this artwork uh, is pulled from that and using original files as well, not scans of scans of scans. Doesn't seem to be a lyric sheet. But um, I, I can't tell you, you listen to Josh, you know what the lyrics are. It's, there's no, um, you know, uh, question there. He's quite clear on those. So um, that is Josh Rouse, dressed up like Nebraska. I'm going to put that aside and then get to the next one. Uh, Alejandro Escovito. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Escovito, I believe is from Texas. And he is a musician that's gone through many different phases of his career. I believe he started out early uh, as a punk artist. I believe he was in a band called The Nuns. Uh, and then he's just progressed to different types of music. So he's not a, you know, kind of you just sit this artist in a particular box uh, type thing. He's actually really expanded and gone through many different phases in his career. And this album in particular, With These Hands, I believe it was in the mid-90s late 90s, uh, and uh, I've heard this album in the past before. This is a wonderful record, again, pressed by Run Out Groove Records and voted on by the listeners at runoutgroovevinyl.com. Now, i do a bit of an unpacking. I, uh, I believe there's a song here from Willie Nelson, features a Willie Nelson song. Uh, Nickel and Spoon. Oh, hang on. Yes, Nicholas Spoon features Willie Nelson vocals and guitar. Yes, okay. Uh, and again, just a beautiful package. Look at this. Gorgeous painting. Uh, I'm not sure who this painting is by. 
Uh, but again, you can see it's just, it's just a really high quality reissue. I don't, think it's, I don't know if this has ever been on vinyl. The spine, gorgeous. And uh, so they, they spare no expense when it comes to the printing of these. And uh, here is the record. Oh, and here appears to be some sort of lyric sheet. And that's what it is. Um, okay, here's the lyrics. Here are the lyrics on one side, and here's information about this album on the other. So uh, really good materials to read while you listen to the records. And this is a double vinyl, same with the Josh Rouse, uh, and just, again, gorgeous labels. And I always, I love this because you can see the size of the run-out groove here, no pun intended. Um, the music typically, tend, when they master, the music that is toward the edge and the middle is of higher quality, uh, gathers more frequencies than when it's closer to the label. Um, because the speed of the record, the angle of the stylus and the cutting needle, uh, there's a lot of physics that uh, mean that the, a lot of the, the frequencies are dropped um, the closer you get to the label. And so when I see a reissue with this wide of a runout groove, that's comforting because uh, I can tell that they've taken a lot of care uh, to make sure that, uh, that it's a high quality sound experience. Uh, they probably could have pressed this album on one record and squeezed it all in there and used up just about every bit of physical space on the record, but then it wouldn't have sounded as good. And granted, you do have to get up and flip the record a little bit more often, but a small price to pay for a really nice experience and sound. So that is uh, Alejandro Escovito uh, with these hands. Again, uh, another great reissue from Runout Groove. Vinyl.com. So again, go check out runoutgroovevinyl.com if you're not already familiar with them and uh, vote on a, a release you'd like to see. And I'd also recommend just taking a chance, grabbing one of these Runout Groove Vinyl releases uh, and giving it a go. Because if it's voted on by listeners, you know there's got to be some, uh, some really good quality music there. All right, for the Vinyl Guide, this is Nate. Thanks again for listening and uh, subscribe and talk to you soon. Cheers.